Hey folks, welcome back to another Dice Tower preview. I'm Mark, and today we're taking a look at Fortify, which is brought to you by Barrel Aged Games. It's for two players, ages seven and up, and games generally run about 15 to 30 minutes. It's a hot summer, and you see a new family just moved in across the street. And you know what that means, boxes. You round up your friends and a giant bag of water balloons. You quickly split into teams, start stacking boxes, and fill your water balloons because everyone knows it's time to fortify. Use the variety of boxes to create a closed wall around your base. The larger you make it, the more friends can fit inside. The more friends you have, the faster you can build, or the more water balloons you can toss your opponent's fort. Roll well and land your water balloons on boxes, rival friends, and ultimately their base to claim the day and the pride of the neighborhood. Time to fill those water balloons. So your main goal here is to knock your opponent out by destroying their base, or getting it soaking wet, that is. You have these hit tokens that look like splashes that you'll be putting on the main base on the main board. That's the main area you're trying to knock out. The rest is just extension of the base where you're bringing in new friends in order to help you build more boxes or throw more water balloons. So three hits on your opponent's base and you will be declared the winner, the ultimate champion of the neighborhood until you play again, that is. Gameplay here is super straightforward and very, very quick to play. You have fort cards, which is the main thing you're gonna be using to build out your fort. You have all these different connecting areas, but what you're really trying to do is create a spot where you can enclose either a balloon kid or a box kid. Balloon kids are great because they're gonna add more dice to what you're throwing at your opponent, and the box kids are going to allow you to get more cards in order to build out your base bigger and better. Each side has their own set of balloon dice that you'll be rolling in order to knock out areas of the different boxes and of course hit the main target of that base. In order to do that, you have to roll a wild to hit the base, but any other colored balloon that's rolled can be put on a kid or on one of the boxes that are in play, the matching colors that is. So if you hit a box, you'll be knocking out all the boxes that connect of that same color. So if it's surrounding a kid, it might really damage what they're trying to do and so forth. But also you can put those water balloons on kids. If you do, it'll just flip the kid over and now they're no longer usable through the course of the game. They're just soaking wet. They become basically in the way of your fort. But there's a couple other wild cards. You have your cousin, your little cousin, who doesn't want to get wet but wants to play. So the first player that actually finishes building their base on that particular turn will then grab the cousin and the corresponding dice. Now, the player that happens to roll their dice and place them first will grab the jerk. The jerk is truly that. You'll get that dice, you'll be able to roll it as well. Now, what's special about those dice? Well, the one for the cousin has more blocks, more umbrellas that you can block and attack. And the jerk has more wilds that can allow you to hit your opponent's base. So those are the basics of what you're gonna be doing in this game. However, it is a game of speed. So on your turn, you're gonna be dealt four of these fort cards. If you happen to have box kids, you can get up to six of those cards. But remember, the first one who lays their fort down is gonna grab the cousin. So it is a game of speed, like I said, and you'll be quickly trying to lay these cards, connecting them to your main base and extending it and getting more areas where you can put more balloon kids and more box kids. Because to start off, you only have one dice you're gonna be rolling. For every balloon kid you get in your base, then you're gonna get more balloon dice to roll and attack your opponent. You're always building your fort first, trying to create those areas to put kids into, and then rolling your dice and place them on your opponent's base to either knock out different areas of the boxes or hit the main part of the base in order to create those splats in order to win the game. So it is this tug of war back and forth as you battle. Now there's this fun mode when you run out of fort cards. Mom is calling and it's time to end the battle. So it is a free for all. Sudden death, so to say. Every kid you have in play is gonna add more balloon dice, trying to finish off your opponent's base before mom gets too angry. So it is this fun, frantic end of the game for sure, if you run out of cards. It doesn't happen a lot, but it does add that nice touch. Also, there's a couple other options while you're playing the game that if you're playing cards and you're placing them and you get to one that you just can't place, you can move it to the bottom of your deck, the one that you have in hand, and draw the next. Now, once you draw a card, you can't replace one that's put on the fort. So that's something to keep in mind. Also, once you place a balloon dice, you can pick up the rest 
and re-roll them if you so choose. But again, this is just a quick playing back and forth. You hope to be the ultimate kid in the neighborhood. All right, folks, just a reminder once again, this has been a Dice Tower paid preview, and everything you've seen here has been in prototype form, so keep a close eye on the campaign for any changes that still may occur. Now, with that said, you know, this is a very family-friendly game. Some nice, lighthearted competition as you go back and forth. It plays really fast, some really cute artwork, and, you know, as I found, kids really engage with it really, really well. But folks, ultimately, if this looks like something of interest to you, I'm sure they'd appreciate your support. So I think that's it for me, and until next time, we'll see you at the table.